So let us prove that um, 1 plus the square root of 2 is irrational. So whenever you are proving uh, irrational numbers, we, we use the method what we call proving by contradiction. Okay? So what we have to understand is that whenever we're talking about rational numbers, let's talk about, uh, whenever we're talking about irrational numbers, okay? Irrational numbers, these are numbers which cannot be expressed in a, in a form of A over B. Okay? So these cannot be expressed in a ratio form, A over B. That's why some examples of uh, irrational numbers, we have got the square root of 2, maybe pi. Yeah, these are examples of what? Irrational numbers. So these, they cannot be expressed in a form of what? A over B. Okay? But if you can express a number in a form of A over B, where B is not equal to 0, then A and B, they're integers, then they also have no common factors, meaning we're talking about rational numbers. So, for us, since we know that we can express rational number in a form of A over B, where b is not equal to 0. At the same time, these guys, they are not supposed to have what? Common, fa common factor. Okay? That is now, we are talking about what? Rational numbers. Okay? But, whenever we are talking about irrational numbers, we are talking about the numbers which cannot be expressed in a form of a over b. Okay? So, we cannot express it in a form of a over b. For example, the square root of 2, the pi, if we talk of the e, and the exponential. Th that is irrational number. So now, to prove that 1 plus the square root of 2 is irrational number, we need to prove using contradiction. So we, are going to, we have to assume that this is rational. So we know that if this is going to be rational, then we have to equate the whole of this to what? To a over b. Because we know that if this is going to be rational, we are just assuming to say this is rational. So if this is rational, then it can be expressed in a form of what? A over B. Where B is not equal to zero, then these two guys, A and B, the integers, they also have no common fa no common factors. Meaning we're talking about it, a rational. So we need to make we, we do know that the square root of two is irrational. So we need to make square root of two as a subject of formula, then we see. Okay? We see, if we are going to have common factors, meaning that is rational. That is going to be rational, sorry. If you are going to have no common factors, meaning that is going to be rational. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, we are going to assume. So from here, we are going to assume. Okay? So we are going to assume that... Uh, we are going to assume that... Uh, so here we have got the square root. We are going to assume that 1 plus the square root of 2 is rational. Okay? So if this is, if we are going to assume that this is rational, then what we need to know is that it can be expressed. It can be expressed. It can be expressed in a form of what? A over B. It can be expressed in form of A over B. Sometimes you can use P over Q. That is just okay. So I'm going to use A over B. It can be expressed as a ratio, which is A over B, where B is not equal to zero. Okay. Then we can put a comma there. We say they are integers. So these are supposed to be integers. And they have no common factor. They have no common factor. So meaning that if they have no common factor, you can express them in the form of A over B, where B is not equal to zero, then these A and B, they are integers, then this is rational now. Okay? They have no common factor. No common factor. Now, when we say they have no common factor, for example, let's say we have... Um, 2 over 3. So there is no any common factor which is there. If you use the calculator, you say 2 divided by 2 divided by 3, you are going to get 0 0.6666 is just repeating itself. So you are going to discover to say we have no common factors. So that is a rational number. 
okay so we are going to assume that 1 plus 2 1 plus the square root of 2 is rational so if we have assumed that this is rational we we do know that rational can be expressed in a form of a over b where b is not equal to 0 then these a and b are integers then a and b they have no common factors okay so you can say a and b here you can say a and b they have no common factors so if they have got no common fact since we have assumed that 1 plus the root of 2 is rational then we know that a rational can be expressed in the form of a over b so we're going to equate this to equal to a divided by b so we do know that the square root of 2 is irrational so we need to make the square root of 2 as a subject of formula so I'm going to shift one to the other side I'm going to have the square root of 2 is going to be equal to a over b okay then I'm going to have minus 1 so the square root of 2 I'm going to to make b as a uh, lowest common denominator then allow me to say b into b is going to be 1 1 times a is going to be 1 is going to be a then here is same as we have 1 1 into b b b times that one we're going to have this so we have now remained with the square root of 2 is equal to a minus b divided by b okay so now as you can see here we have no n common factor which is here we don't have n common factor here okay we have a minus b unless if maybe we had um, for example if we had the square root of uh, 2 was equal to um, maybe let's say 2a divided by 2b we know that we have got the common factor which is what which is a uh, 2 okay in that case would have said this is what this is not rational but since we we can see that we have got a minus b okay we have a minus b divided by b and we don't have any common factor there because we have got two different things we have got a minus b divided by b okay unless if we had b minus b okay in that case or maybe let's say we had um let's say we had um maybe uh, 2 let me let me just say we had the 2b minus again b okay then divided by what maybe b you know that here you can say b minus this one you're going to get or you can factor out b then you cancel b in that case you're going to have the common factor but in this case we don't have any common factor so if we don't have any, any common factor then this is what this is rational okay since we don't have any common factor but we know that we already know that the square root of 2 is irrational so we know that so we're going to say that since a minus b over b has no common factor has no common factor then it is rational number so that is rational so at the same time if we have discovered that a minus b over b is rational number and we know that the square root of 2 is irrational so irrational can never be equal to rational so you are going to say that therefore irrational so you are going to say that uh, you can say that the square root of 2 you start with the square root of 2 is rational is irrational is irrational and we know that okay we do know that this can never be equal to what can never be equal to we know that the square root of 2 uh, the square root of 2 is irrational and irrational can never be equal to can never be equal to rational
So, 1 plus the square root of 2 is a illusion. Hence proved. So, we are proving by um, using contradiction. We assume that it is rational. But we know that illusion can never be equal to lation. So, if I have, I already know that the square root of 2 is ration, is illusion. Then if I equate it to equal to lation, this is not true. Okay? Unless if I was to find that this had the common factor, then this proving would have been wrong. But now this proving is correct because this is lation and then this is lation. Because we assumed that this is lation. Okay, so this is how you prove using contradiction method.